Hey, what is up guys? So you have a Apple TV 4K and you have an issue where you're trying to play a YouTube video and you can only hear the audio. Maybe you can see the uh, caption or subtitles. However, there's no video, there's no picture, all right? Just a black screen or a blank screen. Going to get you guys up and running right now with several possible solutions. First thing is first, let's do a simple restart. Go ahead and grab a remote. You want to go to settings, press on menu. And then you want to go ahead and you want to go to your settings app right here. And then from here, you want to scroll all the way down to where it says system right here. Then you want to scroll all the way down to the very bottom where it says restart. Go ahead and select that. Let's go ahead and let it restart. Once it's back up, go ahead and open up the YouTube app and hopefully you guys are up and running. Okay. Now the thing is, if, you, if you're getting a picture or um, you can see the video now in the YouTube video, the thing is, sometimes the restart only temporarily fixes it. What I want you to do is go ahead and turn your TV off and then turn it back on and then go ahead and open up the YouTube app and see if you still have a picture. Okay, if you don't, then it's not, it's, it's just a temporary fix. Let's go ahead and try to fix it permanently. So let's go to the next step here if you're still having uh, no video after you turn the TV off and turn it back on, all right? Okay, so for the next thing, what I want you to do is go ahead and grab your actual a Apple TV and you can see mine is it's on right now from the uh, the um, solid white light. What I want you to do while it's on is we're going to go directly to the back where the power plug is, and we're going to we're going to pull the plug like this. Wait 10 seconds. After 10 seconds is up, let's go ahead and pop the power cord back in. Let everything boot back up, and then from there, open up YouTube. See if you have video. Also, turn the TV off. Uh, if you do have video, turn the TV off and then back on and then make sure you still have video on the, um, on, on the YouTube. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. All right, so for this next step, I want you to go ahead and grab your remote. What we're gonna do is we're gonna force the Apple TV to restart this time, okay? Simply using your remote. It's a two key combination. What we wanna do is we wanna press and hold the menu button and the home button. We wanna press and hold both buttons and what we want, and we're going to press and hold it and we're going to wait until the uh, white light there it starts blinking and then we're going to let go okay it takes usually about like five seconds for this okay anyways menu button home button ready one two three press and hold both buttons continue to hold until we see w the white light blinking here okay this, okay now it's blinking go ahead and let go now go ahead and wait for the uh apple tv to boot up properly go ahead and open up your youtube Hopefully you have video. If you do, remember, shut the TV off, turn it back on, and see if you still have video on the YouTube, okay? If you don't have video, we're gonna go to the next step. All right, so for this next step, again, go ahead and grab your remote, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, press and hold two buttons again, but it's gonna be a different key combination. It's gonna be a little bit different with this one. So this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold the menu button and the volume down button. We're gonna press and hold, and we're gonna hold it for like 10 seconds. After, 10, after you count to 10, Go ahead and let go. What's going to happen is the TV should turn black and then it'll turn back on. Or it may turn black and then once it turns back on, you may get a um, like a little window that pops up that says um, if you can see the Apple logo to click on OK. If you do see an Apple logo, it asks you that. Make sure you click on OK. Or for most of you guys, it's going to turn black and then it's going to turn back on. Anyways, let's see what happens when I do it. Okay, so uh, menu button volume down for about 10 seconds okay one two three press and hold both buttons do not let go you can see as i'm holding both buttons the uh the light the solid white light on my apple tv um it turned off anyways about 10 seconds now let me go ahead and let go let's see what happens here black screen and mine just turned the tv right back on again you guys may have a little window that pops up that says if you can see the apple logo to click on okay if you do see that then obviously just click on OK. Anyways, from here, open up uh, YouTube. Hopefully you guys are up and running. Okay, you have video and everything. If not, we're gonna go to the next step here. Okay, so for this next step here, now it's possible that your HDMI port could be faulty, it could be running hot. You may have a little bit of dust and lint near it, just causing like a little bit of issue. Anyways, what I, want, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and pull the plug or the HDMI cable out and plug it into another HDMI port. Okay, or you can go ahead and pull the plug out and you can go ahead and blow in it or use some like um, 
some kind of air blower or something like that to blow, blow out if there's any like dust or debris. Anyways, it doesn't matter. You can do that or you can try to, to, to um, plug it into a different HDMI port. If you plug it into a different HDMI port, don't forget you need to um, go back to your, uh, grab your remote and go to the correct HDMI input. You know, you have to select HDMI 1 or HDMI 2, HDMI 3. Anyways, once you connect it to a new HDMI port, open up YouTube. Hopefully you guys are up and running. Don't forget to turn the TV off and turn it back on and make sure that you still have video. Anyways, if you don't, we're going to go to the next step here. Okay, so if you guys come this far, your most likely culprit, if you're still having issues, is this. It's your standard HDMI cable. Now this is still a good cable, but sometimes I get a black screen uh, when I'm playing YouTube, okay? Now if I'm using my other Apple TV at my house and I use the same cable, I have no issues. For some reason, on this TV, I have an issue with this cable. So what do you do? You buy a, not another standard HDMI cable, you buy a high speed HDMI cable. This is a um, braided one. I'll put a link below where I got this one. Anyways, uh, try a new high speed HDMI cable and hopefully you guys are up and running. Now the thing is, if uh, if you guys, um, you don't wanna wait for your uh, new HDMI, high speed HDMI cable to arrive, there's another step that you can do, okay? We can try to do a factory reset. So how you do that is simply just go ahead and grab your remote, click on the menu, and then we want to, again, oops, we want to go down to the settings app right there. And now from here, what we want to do is we want to scroll down to where it says system. And now we want to go down to where it says reset. And then we can go ahead right up here. You can do a reset or I, I can also do a reset and update. It doesn't matter. You can reset and then update later. Anyways, you guys can go ahead and give this a try. Don't forget, you do a factory reset. It's going to reset everything. It's going to reset your Apple TV back to factory default settings. So once the factory reset is complete, it's going to be as if you just bought this brand new and then you got to set up everything. You got to pick your country, your uh, region, you got to put in your Wi-Fi password and all that good stuff. Anyways, let me know what step worked for you guys. All right. Good luck.